She wowed America as a contestant on American Idol and got a golden ticket to Hollywood. Now North Carolina native and UNCW student Alexis Rihanna is here to talk about her brush with stardom and what's next for her. She joins Amanda Fitzpatrick right here in our studios. Ladies. All right, you know, when I first saw you, I thought I've got to get Alexis in our studios, one, to sing, but two, so we can learn more about your journey. You were an American Idol. I saw the story that Kylie Jones did. What was that like? Oh, it was, it was unreal. I mean, really. Uh, you know, you grow up watching American Idol. American Idol actually paved the way for these other singing competitions mm -hmm. to come. So I feel like it's kind of like the OG of singing, right. singing shows. <laughs> and for... For me, I'd never planned on going and auditioning, and with a little bit of help from my family and my boyfriend and my pianist, um, I finally just took that step and I left class one day um, at the very last minute and was actually the last contestant um, to audition actually in Charlotte, right. which was the very, very, very first part of it. And once I got through that, I was actually just happy uh, to make it through that round, uh, much <laughs> less seven months later, uh, wrapping everything up and watching the rest of the show because even though I didn't, you know, make it all the way through, made it up until Hollywood week and stuff, um, it was just a blessing. And we're looking at some images of you and your guitarist there. What, what did so, I understand Lionel Richie said something that stuck with you. What did he say? He said, baby girl, you're going to be a star. <laughs> And <laughs> Tell me how he did we, it because we covered it. He <laughs> stood there over that little, um, little desk yeah. and said, baby girl, you're going to be a star. And just that alone, just the fact that I was there and just the fact that that li legend, Lionel Richie, would say that, um, that was everything for me. Now I want to get through some more information. There's some things that people don't know. Talk about your heritage. Uh, you are Lumbee Indian, yes, right? Native American. Talk yes, about what that means. You were Miss 2015 Lumbee Indian. Yes, I was Miss Lumbee in 2015. I'm an enrolled tribal member of the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina based out of Pembroke, Robinson County. And um, I was actually, yes, Miss Lumbee in 2015 where I was the Lumbee Ambassador. And actually me and my mother, she was Miss Lumbee as well. We oh. are the first mother and daughter Miss Lumbees to, um, to share those titles. Um, what which the, is amazing. And what do the kids say, you know, especially when you go to outside of this area and you go, you know, just being in North Carolina, seeing someone that looks like you and, you know, sounds like you and can be on this stage and even here on this local news, what do they say? They look up to you. Right, I always tell little kids, you know, if, um, if I can do it and you see someone that looks just like me or, or I look just like you, that's very relatable. And I think that's what, that's the goal that a lot of um, artists and um, a lot of people who want to be that role model in the community to think about what's relatable. And I feel like I represent a good amount of kids and youth out there in the world and outside, inside Robinson County and my Native American community and outside those communities that, you know, you can come from wherever and make it. Now you are a student at UNCW, you graduate in May, talk about the degree that you're going to get and also your makeup line. Yes, um, I'm a senior at UNCW. I'm studying environmental science with a minor in GIS and I'm doing a concentration in conservation as well and I graduate in maybe Ooh. three weeks. I can't <laughs> believe it. I finally see the light. Um, but I'm talking with some environmental engineering firms and maybe I could do some field work, some GIS work, but I'm also, I really want to pursue my music uh, full time uh, one day and that is the ultimate goal. So I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to continue to run my uh, makeup artistry business called Alexis Rayana. Because your makeup is flawless. Oh, thank you so <laughs> like, much. my makeup, please. Thank you. <laughs> so good. Yeah, so, and the business is running itself. I'm starting to get a team of makeup artists so okay. um, we can collect, so, you know, do some more weddings and do some bigger events and not have to turn away so many brides and so many events. Wow. Um, so I got a lot of things going for me. I'm ready to get my foot in that environmental field, do some field work, and also sing. I'm just a little jack of all trades right now, <laughs> always having my hands in, in different baskets. Now, if someone wants to hear you sing, where can they go to hear you sing? Yes, um, I have two shows coming up. May 2nd is the Seahawk Capellas concert. Um, yes, it's at UNCW Lumina Theater. Um, at UNCW, and that starts at 8 o'clock. Um, we have several songs, and I'll also be performing at Tales Piano Bar um, May 3rd. Starting from 9 to 12. All right, well, you're going to come back and you're going to sing. Yes, We're going to save it for a little bit later, so don't turn the channel. Donna Rian for a treat tonight. American Idol contestant and budding entrepreneur Alexis Rihanna back in our studio with Amanda Fitzpatrick for a special performance. Amanda and Alexis.
Thank you, Donna Red Alexis. I won't waste any time. She is here. You know, you made it to Hollywood Week, American Idol. Now she's here with Keith, our guitarist, to perform a special song. Take it away. There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun, and it's been the ruin of many poor boys. God, I know. Mama was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. And my daddy was a gentleman down in Hooling. And the only time he is ever satisfied is when he's holding the drum. And there is a house in New Orleans. They cut the rising sun. And it's been 